Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to have a bit of a mix, uh, a mix and mash of different content I'm going to be talking about from Star Wars Celebration. So I've done my Ahsoka video and my Bad Batch video, but this is going to have multiple things included. So we're going to have the Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, uh, the next multiple couple of movies that they've announced, um, Andor, Mando, um, what else have I got? Acolyte. I can't remember what I said and what I haven't said. But yeah, basically I'm going to have a bunch of different things um, in this yeah, basically just a bunch of announcements from Star Wars Celebration that doesn't include Ahsoka and Bad Batch because I wanted them to be separate videos. So at the Lucasfilm panel, um, we got to see multiple different announcements, multiple different trailers for things that were all exclusive to Celebration. So unfortunately, I cannot talk too much about them and I cannot like show them or react to them. Um, but first we got to hear about the Acolyte. Um, or sorry, first was actually Andor, I think. Um... Or was it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. But um, basically, Andor, we got to hear a bunch of like sort of questions from the cast and the crew and stuff like that. We got to hear their thoughts on everything and just kind of talk about Andor and how, you know, well it was perceived. Um, and they have confirmed season two is currently in production. They're going to be sort of finishing up production around August and then it'll be released a year later. So it's going to be out roughly around August 2024. Uh, which I'm very excited about because I love the first season. I have reacted to the whole season of Andor if you want to go check that out. That's all in a playlist on my channel. And they pretty much, they didn't really give us much for Andor. They did give us a trailer. Um, they have confirmed that Andy Serkis will be back. I have my sort of thoughts and theories on that because now that they're trying to connect everything to like the sequels, are they going to actually have Andy's character get cloned and then have one of his clones be Snoke. It would make sense. Um, but I don't want to like theorize too much into that yet because we don't really know where season two is going. But um we did get to see a little short teaser and it showed it showed more of Cyril eating a cereal. And honestly I'm not surprised in the slightest. Like it showed a lot of scenes of, of him, a lot of scenes of Cassian. Um I can't remember everything that went on because there was it, it, it was a lot to kind of focus on and we only saw it once. But we did see Cyril eating his cereal. So the world is okay again. We know that he's safe and he's eating his cereal. Um, so yeah, it's I, I am definitely excited, but I, I would like a lot more information because we didn't really get given a lot about the next season. Um, it was nice to see all the cast and stuff there, though. It was, it was nice having them on stage. We also had an announcement for all the new timelines, all the new movies that we're going to be getting. So they gave us a little... Uh, they gave us a look at the timeline that we have for movies and they brought up the old republic on screen and they also brought up the dawn of the jedi and they also brought up um oh what was it called the new jedi order which is like further in the future so we're going to be getting a movie set like twenty five thousand years like before the sort of current era which is a long time because the old republic is what four thousand years um, High Republic is 800 years or 900 years, if I'm remembering rightly. Uh, or maybe it's not that many because I know Yoda's still alive. I don't know. I don't know timelines. I don't know numbers. Don't don't fault me for that. But um, I think if I remember right, the Dawn of the Jedi is set 25,000 years in the past, and I love that we're going down to this era because we don't have anything from this. We don't. We only have like the Old Republic games in that era. But then this is like way, 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 way before that even. Um, and now that we've had the announcement of the Old Republic era is going to have something happen to it, then we've got that to look forward to as well. Um, but basically, they said that we're going to see sort of like the origins of the Force, the first ever Jedi, um, and how that all comes to be. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We didn't get a, not a lot of information about it, but I think it could be very, very good. What we did get more information on, though, however, is the sequel movie, which is... I can't remember how many years... But it's like quite a few years after episode nine, where Rey is now a Jedi Master. Um, Daisy Ridley came out on stage. Everyone was shocked. Nobody expected her to be there. Nobody expected there to be an announcement. Like people had sort of like theorized. They've been like, oh my God, what if Daisy Ridley's here? Didn't actually expect her to just walk out on stage and have her smile shine throughout the entire fucking area. Um, that was amazing to see. That was so nice. And she got such a, like such a standing, ova standing ovation. And... I really hope that she got to see that there is a lot of people out there that absolutely love her and love what she does and love Ray as well. Like, I love Daisy. I love Ray. I love everything that they, you know, I love everything about her. So um, to be able to have another movie, I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or just one movie, but knowing that we're going to get more content of Ray 
and um you know seeing her going sort of full going full at it rebuilding the jedi order you know being a jedi master all that kind of stuff my only hope is they bring finn back i think i'll be really disappointed if they don't bring finn back unless john boyega himself says no i don't want to do it um if their decision is hey no we're not bringing finn into this then i'm gonna be really disappointed because they can't just tease finn being force sensitive and then just like leaving him out because i think that's a little bit mm, a little bit suspicious so i my my hope is we didn't get enough again we didn't get a lot of information it was more just an announcement to say hey we're doing this so my hope is that it's gonna be finn and ray training all like a bunch of younglings and a bunch of like force sensitive people and it's gonna be very interesting i'm very honestly very excited for it um we also got to see uh, a little teaser for the skeleton crew which is very it looks very interesting now the one very interesting thing about this so basically the trailer it it's it's based on i think it's four kids um i don't know the sort of plot of the story yet because it was just a little a little bit of information it's based on four kids they all look like they've got like really cool like techie gadgets and stuff and they come across jude law's character who we don't really know exactly what he is but they were like oh are you a jedi master and it kind of like cuts it off there so we don't really know if he is a jedi master or what his kind of character is or what he's called or anything like that um however the one thing that we did see in the trailer was our boy vin so vin if you guys have watched the mandalorian will know that vin is a pirate and we've all all of us every single one of us have been wondering when is hondo gonna appear when are we gonna get hondo onaka my friend i, I we need like hondo has to appear at some point because everyone is demanding it um i've got my little hondo figure like just just there it's really hard to see but my little boy my little friend um so my thought and a lot of people thought uh, people's thoughts are the hondo is this movie is going to be the or sorry this series is going to be the perfect time for hondo to show up because one there's other pirates and two it's based on a bunch of kids and they're like making their way through the universe and doing their thing and hondo loves to help kids like we've seen what he's like with ezra and we've seen so much content of him and that's just who he is like he's just there to like help people and he loves kids not in a weird way don't take it weirdly like he loves kids and you know he's just kind of like he's just kind of vibing honestly he's just he's just a vibe um so i think this could really really be the perfect place for having kids pirates and whatever you know jude law is supposed to be a jedi um jedi in hiding maybe a possible like sith i don't know probably not a sith i don't think he would be but i do think that he might just be a jedi master um so i'm very honestly very excited for it it's not like my highest anticipated but now that I've sort of seen more content for it, I'm like, okay, I can get with this. And the kids that were on the the panel, like the the actors for the kids, they were all so wonderful. Like they were so sweet and mature and so excited about this project. Like they, they were they were like fully ready for it. And they hadn't seen the trailer either. And it was really sweet because they got to react to the trailer with us. And you could see them in front of the screen and they were like hugging each other and they were jumping up and down with joy. And it was the sweetest thing. So I actually have a lot of high hopes for this. And we've seen how well um Vivian did with Leia. So I do really have high hopes for this. They did also mention like the Goonies and stuff like that. And other people have compared it to Stranger Things in a way. It's like that's the kind of focus. So I honestly am very excited for it. I, I do have a lot of high hopes uh we also had an announcement for tales of the jedi season two we haven't had any character announcements yet for that but i do have a list of characters that i would like to see so my list of characters that i would like to see would be ventress trilla quinlan Voss, jaro tapal maybe cal Kestis, you know put them in there um maybe some more canon we've seen a lot of canon or uh you know caleb uh but I would very much like to see more of him and maybe Kit Fisto. Again, we did see a lot of like Kit Fisto action in the Clone Wars, but I would like some more origin stuff for Kit Fisto because they did him dirty in the movie. They fucking did him dirty with his death and he deserves so much more. So those are my kind of like top nominations to say of who I would like to see in Tales of the Jedi. Um, and we also had, um, we had a Kenobi panel as well, which had all the um all the cast and stuff come out for that and that was the loveliest panel that i've ever witnessed vivian is the most mature child 
and the most well-spoken and most incredible person I've ever seen. She is so lovely. And I'm like, that, that is, that, how is that a child? Like she was so mature and she was able to answer everything with ease and was able to like bring off jokes and make like little, like make little like snide comments towards uh, Yoon as a joke. And she was just, honestly, if you haven't already, I really recommend watching like interviews with her or even watching like, I don't know if the Kenobi panel was like streamed live, so I don't know if it's available, but like watch her interviews. She is like the loveliest, the sweetest little bean I've ever seen. And her like relationship with Hayden and with Ewan especially was so, so nice. All they really did was they showed us like all of the, the cast's like favorite best moments. So it's like, oh, this is your favorite moment. This is your favorite moment. So we got to relive a bunch of really cool scenes from season one. And then they basically said, hey, yeah, we're coming back for season two. So we didn't get an awful lot of information, but it was nice to just have a chill panel where they were asked questions and they got to talk about their experiences. And yeah, it was very, very fun. And the last thing I think, yeah, the last thing that I want to talk about is the Acolyte. So the Acolyte, we did get a trailer. I don't know if it's been released. I know people saw it at a second panel, but I don't know if it's actually been like released publicly. Um, but the Acolyte is going to be set in the High Republic. It's going to be very Jedi heavy. Um, but it's also, I think it's going to be like the sort of start of the fall of them kind of thing. I don't really know. I don't know the entire like plot of it, but they've said Frozen meets Kill Bill. Now, I haven't watched either of those because Frozen makes me want to run away and hide. I'm not going to say TOS terms, um, but I, I'm i not a fan of that. So I have not seen that and I have not seen Kill Bill either. So I don't really understand the reference to this. So if someone could like nicely explain to me, don't come into my comments and be like, oh my God, you haven't seen these movies. Just nicely explain, oh, hey, so what they might mean by Frozen meets Kill Bill is such and such because I have absolutely no idea. There is a bunch of stunts in it. Like, we got to have the cast on stage, and there was a really cool cast. Um, like, a really, really cool cast. And what the my favorite part was Daphne Keene. So Daphne Keene plays X-23, who's one of my favorite X-Men. Um, and I think that she is going to be a Zabrak. Because uh, there was a Zabrak in the trailer, and it was kind of hard to tell like who was who and what was what. But I'm pretty sure she might be a Zabrak character, and I am so here for that. I'm so down. Uh, there was a bunch of different creatures, a bunch of different like uh, races and all that kind of stuff in this. So I'm very intrigued to see like how far they go. Um, and obviously, there was a lot of Jedi, a lot of lightsabers. It looked really, really awesome. Um, and there was a lot there was a lot of stunts in it like they were talking about like how they had to train and train with all these like different moves and stunts and you got to see some of them in the trailer and it looks awesome like acolyte is very i it could possibly be one of my most anticipated because it looked awesome i don't know much about the high republic because i haven't looked into any of it which i know i have to i need to eventually but because it's mostly books and comics i haven't really had that motivation to kind of kickstart the obsession yet so maybe watching the acolyte might help sort of get me into all that kind of stuff um but one of the really cool things was as they announced the panel um just before the cast walked in there was a jedi wookie came on stage like like full wookie suit came on stage and everyone was like oh my god that's so cool and then he went off stage and then on stage came jonas who plays Chewbacca, and he was like, yep, that was me in the suit. I'm playing a Jedi Wookiee. And I'm like, holy shit. So I think that's one of the coolest things as well. So Jonas is coming back to play another Wookiee, and this time the Wookiee is going to be a Jedi Wookiee. And I'm so down for that. Like, I love that so much. Um, because I love Gungi. We all love Gungi. So being able to see more in a different era and seeing, like, a full-grown Jedi Wookiee, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be really cool. So I do hope that they release the trailer for that eventually because that was awesome that was so cool to see um but yeah it's kind of like i said it's kind of hard to talk about it because i didn't write everything down when i was at the panel so i'm just kind of going off memory and there's probably a lot of things that i missed out on that i maybe didn't notice on screen or that i'm forgetting so please excuse me if i haven't given you all the information i can but it was more just to kind of give you a little rundown a recap of everything that i remember and the sort of coolest bits, but I do have full videos, like I said, on Ahsoka and the Bad Batch. So if you want to go check them out, then those are on my channel. Um, I will also be doing a little uh, sort of video montage of a bunch of different stuff that I saw over the weekend. Because I tried to record as much as I could, but it was really difficult because I wanted to experience it sort of firsthand directly. And not have to carry my phone and my camera around. 
Um, so I'm gonna try and put it together as much footage as I got, see if it works out well as a, a mini vlog kind of thing. Um, and that might get uploaded too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about Star Wars Celebration, please let me know in the comments. Um, and I will try and get back to you as best as I can. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.